Hi everyone, I'm, I'm working today on this, uh, well, this is a heavy paper, 240 uh, gram uh, for a page, and it's an A3 size, I I want, if I, what I have in mind will work, I want to frame it, so that's why it's not in an art journal, and if it, it won't work, I'll just uh, uh, fold it and stick it in one of my <laughs> art journals. So the theme today is steampunk. I've got uh, several sets of steampunk uh, stamps that I got from In Love Arts and I was really really uh, <laughs> itching to use them and make something. So uh, that's what is going to go uh, today. And I'm going to start by uh, putting some color on this page. And I've picked all kinds of uh, blue acrylic paint, all kinds of grayish uh, blue paint. I've got, uh, although the, the, the name here doesn't reflect on it, but I have here Sky Blue Deco Art, Blue Bouquet by Deco Art, something from the cheap store. I have got Copenhagen Blue and Navy Blue. So, starting with this, and I'm going to put a little bit of paint here. Not much of a difference between the two colors. I'm going to keep the darker colors to towards the edges. And now I'm thinking that maybe I need some gray. Do I have gray? Not that I can see right now. I only have dark gray. I'll manage with what I have. Sometimes you just <laughs> you think about something and it changes as before you even start it. So I'm taking a baby wipe because I want it very light. I don't want a very thick layer of paint and I want to uh, blend it all. So I'm going to start with one of the colors like this and just putting on a very thin layer just to give my page some color and it's quite random it's only the start now I'm putting the lighter uh, tones all over and only later I will go with the darker ones towards the edges. Right now this is just the first layer and as you can see I'm just putting it randomly and I want coverage. Now the coverage is not that everything will be blocked. I like that I have variation in the color. There's going to be a lot of stamping here. Okay. Just a little bit more. It really doesn't matter. This uh, paint is kind of thick, so it's uh, difficult to smear it like this with the baby wipe.
Okay, so I've got coverage. And yeah. Okay, so now I want to add a little bit of the darker colors towards the uh, edges. But now I'm thinking that maybe I will leave it be and do the uh, darker color with with some ink pads or I don't know well I'm putting just a little bit here I'm also going to add water to thin it down and again just using the baby wipe adding a little bit Right now it looks like a mess, but it will take shape as we go. At least I hope so. And I need a little bit more. Almost like what? Oops! <laughs> oh my god! Okay. Making a mess, as usual. If it won't work, it won't work, but so far so good. I've got a little bit of darker color and some blending, and I like it. Okay, so I'm going to move it before I'm doing more damage, and just taking a baby wipe. Now I want this to be a uh, completely uh, dry before I start stamping on it. So I'm moving this aside, wiping the mess before I continue, although I'm going to make more mess. So bear with me. Okay. Now I want to create a my focal image and it's going to be a butterfly and I want a steampunk butterfly okay uh, this is a uh, this called Bristol it's a, a little bit thicker than printer paper and just use whatever paper you have and I want to, to stamp all over it to create something, uh, some uh, interesting pattern, and I'm going to start, I think, with this uh, gear stamp. Now I'm going to stamp all over this page, and I forgot I wanted to put color on it also. So before stamping, uh, I've got here this dress oxide shaded lilac and iced spruce. I want again like I had with the background just a hint of color so I'm putting it uh, here on acetate but you can use any kind of plastic or any kind of surface uh, that is not absorbent spraying it with water and just adding splotches of color to my page like so drawing the acetate so I can move to this color it doesn't say uh, I'm not looking again for complete coverage just some color in several places Yeah, and I need a little bit more towards the edges. Let's try it. Not everyone has distressed oxides or distressed ink, and uh, let's try it with acrylic paint. 
putting again on the acetate adding a lot of water and I'm going to mix it with a brush more water of course if you have a watercolors you can do it a, the same way you can also use uh, felt pens just uh, put them on the acetate spray some uh, water and you'll get the same almost the same thing of course it doesn't uh, give you exactly the same effect but still So now I've got a really interesting painty paper that I love and as I said you can use whatever you've got it doesn't have to be the distress inks wiping the mess yeah okay so I'm going to uh, give it a blast with the heat tool and I'll be back I'm back so this is dry I just put this paper underneath so I won't get ink on my table and I'm going to stamp away all over this page and then I'm going to cut some uh, butterfly out of it I'm using Momento uh, Tuxedo Black sure I've got enough ink yeah so continuing and now use whatever a, a <laughs> whatever stamps you have you if you have uh, numbers, letters, anything uh, industrial, clocks, all works for a steampunk uh, theme and it doesn't even have to be uh, something like that. I'm going to use here this stamp right now and I'm going to stamp it quite randomly. like this and let's I've got more a I've got a stamp of a ledger or something like it as I said numbers are great for this kind of thing don't care it's random I'm just going want all my page to be stamped yeah and you can also overlap up to you just create something interesting by making more and more uh, elements on your page as you can see I'm not even stamping the whole thing just taking part like this Let's see, what else do I have? I think I wanted to keep these two stamps for my background, but maybe I can uh, still uh, use them here. Let's take another one from the set.
you see I'm overlapping I think it's uh, even more interesting that way and I want more of this one let's see what else taking another mm, well, let's take this one really doesn't matter as I said use whatever you have just build something interesting with lots of details the numbers again not the whole thing I'm just putting down okay so I've got this page stamped now I want to cut a butterfly out of it all kinds of ways to go about it uh, you can print from the internet lots of free templates I personally uh, now uh, use a lot of, I'll write it just so you can see, there is a website called freepeak.com and it has a lot of free printables and you just put whatever you want in the search engine and uh, printed now I've got all kinds of butterfly templates from all kinds of this was from some kind of stencil that you took it out and these are were bought uh, in IKEA I don't know where the what they were supposed to be but I'm using them all always as a template and I think I'll use this one or let's see I think I'll use this one and I'm just picking an interesting spot really doesn't matter yeah I think I'll use this one I'm just tracing it you can also uh, fold your page in half and create just create your own butterfly if you've got a stencil of a big butterfly you can also use that all kinds of ways to go about it So now I need to cut it and I also maybe I will want more butterflies and I also but smaller ones and I have a punch for it so I'm going to punch uh, from this page maybe I'll use it maybe I won't I don't know <laughs> but I already have this whole page so prepared just picking interesting spots you see how many details I've got here okay so that's it for now I'm gonna uh, just cut the butterfly I'm using nail scissors it's easier they are more dainty and I'm using the curve of the scissors to my advantage 
whenever I need to fussy cut something that is curvy, that's what I'm using. Now what I meant about uh, folding the page and creating your own butterfly, I will show you in a minute. Okay, let's take this out like this and then I'll fussy cut it out of so you just fold of course it depends on the size of the butterfly you want to create and then you start creating your butterfly whatever you fancy something like that or like that and you it's on the back so you can uh, do with a pencil and play with it until you are satisfied with with the shape i'm just winging it now so you can see what i'm uh, talking about something like that and I've got a butterfly and of course you can still work on it if you don't like it I can do something like that so up to you and a lot of ways to create an interesting butterfly so I'm going to continue a cutting this and then I'll be back okay so here are my butterflies. The only thing I've done here, I went uh, around them with ink, uh, with makeup sponge and ink, and just put a little bit of black here in the middle. I'm going to do the same here, and I'm going. I need to be quick about it. I don't have enough time on my phone to uh, to make videos it only allows me like 32 33 uh, minutes so i'm going to try and be quick about everything so i'm just uh, adding a little bit on the outside and i'm going to go all over uh, and do this and i want to stamp on my background so i'm going to take this stamp oopsie and I'm going to use this one which has a more condensed pattern and again uh, keep it to the edges like I'm keeping the darker colors to the edges uh, the, the more uh, elaborate pattern also to the edges and I'm going to stamp also here on the middle but this one is going uh, to go on the edges of my page and again I'm using the Momento Tuxedo Black and putting pressure just to make sure I have a nice print it doesn't have to be perfect but yeah I love it so now it's just playing with the stamps I have to create some kind of a well borders of some kind and it, as you can see that I don't have to use the whole stamp putting it in several places like so and playing playing with all these stamps I have in creating something interesting on my page now that's going to take me some time it's a lot of stamping it's worth it overlapping again and as I said there it, it's 
quite random it's playing do what and use whatever you like in creating an interesting background like so so I'm going to keep at it and I'll be back I'm back so as you can see I continued stamping away uh, I used all two more uh, stamps I had uh, these are from my cheap store and I've got some text uh, stamp that again just randomly adding to my background like so I've got some a uh, I don't know who just lines and it's all about adding details and as I said very light towards the uh, inside of my page it's all uh, adding a uh, visual uh, texture and I'm planning on my uh, butterfly to be here now I've uh, printed this uh, light bulbs from the internet again as I said from um, freepeak.com and I'm just coloring them these are acrylic uh, pens that I got from the cheap store you can color with whatever you want this uh, is bronze this one's gold I'm trying to be quick about it I'm running out of time and I still want you to see what I'm doing so you won't miss out now I want to color them and I'm going to use a distress ink this is fossilized amber makeup sponge just adding like so and now I'm taking this is spiced marmalade trying to keep it towards the edges like this So once again, if you keep the more uh, darker colors towards the edge or the pattern, the more condensed pattern towards the edge, you get a more feel of a depth, of a 3D effect. So this is uh, my light bulbs. Moving along. <laughs> so I want them something like this here, and I'm thinking maybe I will. A, add a little bit like this like an aura of the light yeah very very gently okay so um, and I'm going to continue this uh, make a line with a black permanent marker I want to add another stamp here
like this. So I need to finish off the elements and I'll be back. I'm back. So all my elements are in place and I've adhered them and I've printed this use your wings on just plain paper and went around it with the same uh, stamp here. I just uh, covered part the part where uh, the letters are like this and stamped to create this border and now it's the finishing touches I want to do the same effect I, I made here I want to add to the words here so again just tapping lightly inside with the yellow like this and switching to the orange and part of it is going outside but it gives the effect of a glow so I really like it and it just goes with this, uh, with the light bulbs I have here yeah this here and now I want to <coughs> use the bronze a uh, acrylic paint I have from the cheap store and just in several places add like if I have this uh, uh, screws in the stamp then I'm adding as if they are uh, made of metal and in several places this is going to be again quite random just to bring everything <laughs> together no I'm not even doing all the all of them just part and I'm making a mess by uh, putting my hand on what I've already colored and smearing <laughs> never mind so in several places just adding this bronze uh, acrylic pen Maybe I, I will even do some uh, splattering with uh, acrylic bronze uh, paint. We'll see. First I want to add this and see where it gets me. I know it's just little details but sometimes the little details are what's bringing the whole page together. So that's about it. <clears throat> Let's see. I thought about adding the bronze to inside the butterflies, but no. So I just want to add just a faint shadow underneath. Uh, my butterflies and I'm going to use this kind of sponge that is used for a uh, eyeshadow and very very gently I'm going like this and adding a little bit of shadow Not everywhere, just where I think it's a little bit needed and very gently. And if I want to add, I can also add, but subtracting <laughs> after you put a lot is uh, not possible, so it's better to go easy and add as you go. And a little 
little bit here and basically I think this is it only a little bit of splatter okay so I've got bronze here in this uh, bottle I'll put some here it's clogged of course of course it's clogged I want to finish my page okay so taking a fan brush and a little bit of paint here and I need some water to thin it down a little bit more I'm testing it first no, it needs more water yeah I really really like this page and it's definitely going into a frame and I almost forgot to do the antennas for this butterfly so I'm going to let this uh, dry before I'm doing something terrible to this <laughs> page and I'll be back That's it, finished, made the antennas and I am so pleased with this uh, page. I hope you can see all the details in the back. So that's my steampunk page and I really like it so it is definitely going into a frame. Thank you for watching, thank you for leaving me comments below, I'll be listing the um, steampunk uh, stamps uh, also down below with a discount code so thank you for watching bye in my next video